everyone, it's Amber, and today I'm going to be doing my August wrap-up and September TBR. I am filming this on August 22nd. I'm filming this today because I'm going to move out to college on the 25th, so I have to get this done today because I can't film it after the month ends because I'll be busy in school, so I am going to uh, tell you guys which books I read in August and what books I'm planning on reading in September which is very tentative because I am going to be at school number one and also number two I am only bringing a certain amount of books with me so those are the ones I have to choose from and I don't really know which ones I'm gonna want to read first so without further ado let's just get right into the wrap-up portion of this video firstly in august i read harry potter and the half-blood prince by jk rowling really really loved this of course it's harry potter i loved the quidditch in this book i feel like this book everything has started to kind of pick up for deathly hallows and i've seen all the movies so i know what happens but like this book definitely had a lot of things in it that weren't in the movie that I really, really liked and that I liked seeing. So I really, really loved this, of course, because it's Harry Potter and I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. So predictable, but it's always a 5 out of 5 stars because it's Harry Potter. And then I read Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller, which I have a review up on my channel of, and I adored this book. I also gave this, I believe I gave it 5 out of 5 stars or 4 out of 5 stars. I really, really enjoyed this. I really liked it. It was so fun to read. Like, I just had so much fun with it, and I really, really enjoyed it. It follows this girl named Elosa, and she is a daughter of this infamous Pirate King, and he is looking for this portion of this map that he has one third of that he wants Elosa to get and in order to get it he wants her to get captured by this enemy pirate ship on purpose and like hunt their ship for this map and that's where the story takes off and that's what it's about and it's so 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 good so definitely go watch my review if you want more thoughts on that book because I definitely go way deeper into my thoughts and the characters and stuff like that and that it's non-spoilery so you can watch it even if you haven't read it so definitely go check that out if you're interested so those are the only two books that I read in August because after that I got in such a big slump. I wanted like a fun fantasy type of thing like Daughter of the Pirate King and I guess you could say I kind of got in a book hangover and that's how the slump started. I was looking for stuff and I started a couple different books but nothing really had me hooked and then I started just watching Netflix and YouTube and stuff and I was like you know what I really really want to take a little break from reading and just allow myself a little time. So that's what I'm currently doing. I just, I don't want to force myself to read when I don't really want to. I'm going off to college soon, so I really want to just kind of relax while I can and take in the times where I could just sit all day and watch YouTube and Netflix. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's very relaxing and I really like doing that. But once you see this video, it will be September and I will already be well into school, so hopefully it's going well. So that is my wrap up for August. My TBR is very tentative as I said. I'm not really sure what I'm going to want to read, but for now what I'm planning on reading at the moment, like what I'm thinking about, is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I have the audiobook for this. I also have the physical book but I'm not going to bring it with me. But the audiobook I figured that I can listen to it in between classes and before bed and maybe stuff like that and like walking around campus. So that would be a good book for me to read in September I think. Another book that I'm thinking about reading in September is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Maybe I'll finish this in August but I don't really know. I haven't started it yet. But this basically follows this main character named Monty and he has come of age and he's going on his grand tour of Europe and he's in love with his best friend Percy and it's supposed to be very very funny and it's supposed to be really fun and just entertaining and enjoyable so I think that this will be a great book for me to read in September or in August at the end. In my September wrap up I'll do what books I read after I filmed this video if I read any. The next book I really would like to read in September is The Kingslayer by Virginia Bowicker. This is the sequel to The Witch Hunter. That follows this girl named Elizabeth Gray who's this witch hunter 
and she gets accused of being a witch and this infamous wizard makes a deal with her that if she saves him from this curse that has been put upon him then he will help her get out of the situation that she's in with being accused of being a witch. This is the second book in the series. I believe this is the last one, but I'm really excited to see how this ends and I'm so excited to read this because I've been waiting for it to come out paperback because I didn't want to buy the hardcover. And the last and final book I'm going to put on my TBR for September is Stolen Songbird by Daniel L. Jensen. All I know about this is that it's a fantasy and it involves trolls, but it seems like it's going to be so fun to read and I think that this is going to be a fun book for September and the fall vibes when they're starting to come out, so I think that this will be a good one for September. But that is about it for my wrap up in TBR. I'm really sorry for how short this video was. I just did not read a lot in August and I also don't really know what my plans are for September because I'm filming this so early. So I just wanted to lay out like kind of a tentative TBR because I don't really know. But if you guys want to see what books I'm taking with me, I uploaded a video of the books I'm taking with me to college. And if you want to see that, definitely go check that out because those are all the books I have available to me in physical form. Of course, I have my Kindle, so I'm going to be able to have access to the library. So I can read other things, but those are the books that I'm taking with me in physical form, which are the ones that I'm most likely to pick up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys' TBR is for September and what you read in August. So if you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe down below if you want to see more of my videos and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Ooh.